Welcome to this video. Here I am going to discuss the basic concepts about a grain loading. Well, first of all, let us understand what is grain. The IMR code says that the grain is wheat, maize, corn, or rye, rice, pulses, barley, seeds, and their process form. Basically anything which behaves as similar to grain is called a grain. So the hazards associated with grain are first of all is a shifting, it is liable to shift and the grains are also perishable. Grains are carried for consumption by humans and livestock so they require proper hold cleaning to avoid infestation, contamination and damage. Well, grain has the tendency to shift. Now we'll focus on this hazard and the grain has a low angle of repose that is about 20 degree depending on the type of grain. Well, the angle of repose is the maximum slope measured maximum slope measured in degrees from the horizontal from horizontal uh, at which the loose solid material will remain in place without uh, sliding it so the materials which are having low angle of uh, repose uh, let me repeat this if the material is having low angle of uh, repose that means the material is likely to flow easily so for example the water water has the angle of repose of water is a zero and it flows very easily so any material which is having low angle of repose will flow easily and this shifting has adverse effect on stability of the vessel so let us consider that this is a vessel here w is equal to mg this weight is acting vertically downward from center of gravity and this is the underwater volume and the center of buoyancy is the geometrical center of this underwater volume and one force of buoyancy is acting vertically upward well we are looking the ship in transverse direction that is from port to starboard direction now if the vessel heals so what we see that this grain from port side say from port side is shifted to starboard and by some distance d say suppose this is the distance uh, shifted so we have one healing moment which is w into d now since g there is a shift of g to g1 from here from g to g1 small g to small g1 so the center of gravity of the ship will also shift from g to g1 capital g to the g1 so this force of buoyancy will also shift like this because now this weight force is not acting on g now it is acting on g1 somewhere here so the force of buoyancy will also shift like this and So the new force of buoyancy will cut the old force of buoyancy at point M which is meta center and if this angle is theta then we can easily make out that 10 theta is equal to G G1 by Gm. Well strictly speaking heel is the transverse inclination due to external force and list is the transverse inclination due to internal force or internal factor. However the code uses heel as a list so we will also use as healing moment. So angle of heel is directly proportional to GG1 and this is called healing arm. Okay, so ships are allowed to have a certain amount of healing moment. Well, we can say that this GG1 is uh, W into D divided by capital W. So I can write like this that 10 theta is also equal to 
W into D divided by capital W into GM and this is nothing but healing moment. So we can say the ship is allowed to have certain amount of healing moment known as permissible or allowable healing moment. So let me write here permissible or allowable healing moment. based on the kg and displacement so these healing movements are based on the displacement and the kg actually this is k and this is g and this is m so gm is also depend on kg so as long as the healing movements are less than the allowable healing movement the ship will suffer a loss of stability but within the allowable limit so the total healing movement should not exceed the allowable limit so total total healing movement should not be or should be less than the permissible or allowable healing movement so last chapter 6 deals with the carriage of grain actually part c deals with the carriage of grain and this is supplemented by international code for safe carriage of grain in bulk well note down that it is in bulk not in the packed form so the cargo is most likely to shift and these regulations are designed to prevent such a danger basically this code applies to all ships including those of less than 500 gross tonnage that carry grain in bulk